Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm doing a screen record for you um, on the app Milano. Now, I wanna welcome those who are new here. This is my tiny little channel that I leverage to help those photographers looking to get into brand photography, whether it's getting more leads into your inbox or nailing the session, that's really what I focus on here. And as I mentioned, I'm going to dive into Milanote, the app I use for my shoot planning. I used to use Trello and I still love Trello, but I've lately been loving Milanote. And so I'm gonna walk you through the overall platform and how you can use it too. All right, Milanote or Milanote. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's M-I-L-A-N-O-T-E dot com. This is what you're going to see. There is a free version of the app. You get so many cards or files and you know, it's one of those things where at some point you need to upgrade. So I pay for the yearly plan, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into how I use this for, um, for my business. So you're gonna go ahead and log in. What it's gonna do is it's going to bring you to a home page and the way I like to organize my sessions and my shoots are by month. Um, you can see it's here. And when I expand any of these, it will go into all the project files that I have. So without giving um, my client information away, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and before I do that, I will actually give a little bit of a walk down of the interface. So over on the left-hand side, you've got a lot of options. You have notes, you have links, you have to do's, you have lines, you can add a board, you can have a column, a comment in here. There's more things that you can add. I have not explored all of these. I've explored the color and the map here, but um, I'm sure all of these are fantastic. You can add an image, upload and draw. So the overall structure of Milano, if you think about it, is you've got this overall board and then you likely want to then add a new board for a particular project. So if I were to add this board, let's say it's client one, whatever, um, then you can double click and you can go into this board. Your tools remain the same. They will give you some templates. There is a photo shoot plan here, which is great. Um, that's not what I use for my photo shoot plans. Um, if you actually want more information on shoot planning and how I specifically do it, I want you to hand uh, actually check out the brand photographer method shop. I do have my shoot plan templates there, but I'm gonna give you some good uh, ways to get started here. So going back though into this and really the way to go back is just go into home. There is things you can customize. So I could customize this once you just click on it once. So if you double click, you're going to get into the project, but if you just click once, you're going to be able to change this. You can change the color, you can set a custom color, and then you can change the icon. So for me, I generally like to go to this letter in numbers and just do that. And so if I had like, if Susie, uh, Susie, I don't know, Smith was my client, it would be SS, um, just something I like to do, but obviously it's up to you how you want to do this. So what I would do then is let's say Susie is going to be my July client. Let's say I wanted to add a new July board. I'm gonna use a column. And the reason I like columns is because this little button here will let you collapse it. That's what these are here. So if I were to uncollapse one of these, but in privacy for my clients, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just use an example here. And then all I do is I drag and drop. So all of my clients for July could be in this column and then I could collapse that if I wanted to. If I wanted to add a new client, let's say I have client two. <clears throat> and all I'm doing is typing that in and hitting enter and then I'm dragging it and this little bar is gonna show up and pop it in there. So that's how I organize the overall structure. So then I'm going into client one um, and what you can do here is add whatever information you want. So I'm gonna go through some of the features that you can do. So you can add additional columns. And again, columns are going to be like top to bottom, like organizing structure. You can change the color if you like colors, or for me, I just usually keep it plain. So you can add a new column. Um, you can add checklists here. So this is great, like if you have um, your shot list, um, you can add a title here. So in the column, we've got our checklist. The checklist, you could actually assign it to somebody you can have a due date, you can change the color and then you can add a title. So let's say this is your shot list 
then you can add shot one, shot two, whatever. Or maybe this is your prop list, shot three. So the other things that I really love about this um, app is then you can add um, you can add images and links. And I actually don't really use these um, tools, which you can you can do. You can upload your own or you can add a link here but what i love so much about this app is this little guy here this little chrome plugin and why i love it so much is because it actually makes it so easy to add information to this board so let's say i wanted to add an image and let's say i want to add an image from my site jesse wyman photography then i'm going to like let's say i love like this image here look how that pops up right so i'm going to go ahead and change that to client one and save to client one so then we're going to go right over to client one and boom there it is so it's in this unsorted category you're going to drag it on over what's great though is it's captured that link on where you got it from so if i click on that it's going to open up where i got it from so this link, this little Chrome plugin is so great. It also works on Pinterest images. So if I go to Pinterest, love that you can see what I searched last. Should have done this in an incognito window, but. Okay, so yep, we're gonna go to Jesse Wyman. We're gonna like, let's say, or let's just go ahead and search. Let's say client, what should client one be? Client one should be like, um, let's do Pilates because why not? That's obviously like what I looked at last. So let's say I liked um, this image here. That little link is right there. So again, save the client one and boom, you can drag it in. So let's say you wanna add these to keep it all organized into this column. You can simply grab, drag and drop and keep it all organized. So those are some of the main features I really, really love. Um, the other features also that you can do, you can simply grab a URL. If I go Command C and just click anywhere on this board, Command V, that's where the link pops up. I hit Enter, it's going to do its thing to generate the whatever I have for my thumbnail, which there it is. Boom, drag and drop. So oh, the thumbnail looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so that's some of the um, features. There's also this comment feature. I really don't use that one as much. If I need to type something, I'm going to go ahead and use a note. Now a note, you can write uh, here is a note and you can change the text style to a large heading, normal heading. They have all these different heading types, different colors. You can bold, italicize, strike out, bullets, um, you know, format it colors, you can add a reaction. And then what you can do is go ahead and add this. So if you wanted to like describe what this whole like shoot was about, this is what the shoot is about. You can do that. The other thing that I love is this color feature. So if you drag it, let's say you are, um, you know, someone that's going to give them like a color palette of whatever for their outfits. Let's say you want their outfits to stay within a certain range. You can go ahead and do this. Let's say, um, you know, their colors, you can add in the RGB values, you can add in the HSL, or you can do the hex. So like if your client is maybe working with a brand designer and you have all of their brand colors, this might be fun to add it in this way. You could easily drag in also the PDFs. This will let you drag in and link up PDFs. This will let you add images. So in the event that you have an image, a brand board from a brand designer, you could simply just drag that in here. So you have your finder window, drag it in. Um, but this is super, super helpful. And then the other last thing I really love is the maps option. So if you have a Google Maps, let's say um, the shoot is going to be at the Newburyport studio. Let's do this. And I think this is the link if I command C. And this is great, like if you need to give your client a link for a location, let's see if that's gonna work. The Newburyport Studio, boom. So the trick with this is making sure that when you grab it, you don't grab the map because it like wiggles around. So like you can easily just drag that in and be like, this is where you have to go. Um, so you can also add description. So if I wanted to add a caption here, it would get rid of that link. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. 
um, but you can also add this like I like this pose um, you can also add in lines um, to separate so let's say you want to have things like linked up or um, whatever let's say you don't like the arrow you can turn the arrow off you can change the weight of this line um, that's great and I think that's really all the features I mainly use. There is this sketch, which you can like double click to start drawing, like woo, but I don't really ever use that for my brand clients. Um, so yeah, that's really it. So um, I want you guys to pop back to my idiot, my last, um, last month video and I'll link it up into the description about shoot planning and the things I include into my shoot plan. So you guys can easily add these to your shoot plans. Now, if you're still lost, um, I do have shoot plan templates and I do give a video walkthrough of exactly how I organize that in Milanote. So take a look at that. If you are interested in that, that's available in the shop. Thank you so much for um, popping in for this other tutorial here on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.